Okay. Good evening. Now, my father used to say the problem is coming on time is that no one's there to appreciate it. So over here, you know, for those of you that are here on time, there's uh, almost 30 of you already here. Um, I think why should you lose out and wait for the rest of the group to come? Um, with uh, major gratitude to God, we have an overwhelming response. Um, over 150 people applied to come to this webinar today. And just to give a little bit of a intro, what's going to happen is that I'm going to give a presentation. It's going to be recorded from the beginning. And we already put together as a group internally all the possible questions. I'll do like in a question answer. I'll ask a question. Then I'll go off on a tangent with that answer. And then at the end or throughout, you could type questions on the chat. And I'll go throughout and I'll answer those questions as we go through. So the first and most important question is, what is your parents Gparency is a premier commercial mortgage brokerage, period. Stops there. When we describe the company, when you're thinking to get involved in the company and where we find ourselves in the industry, we're a premier commercial mortgage brokerage. We don't talk about technology. The same way, if someone asks you, do you know someone that's a commercial mortgage broker? Which firm do you think of? What's the top firm you think of? Gparency does exactly that. There's no difference. There's a human, just like I'm talking to you now. I'm that human that will run the transaction from A to Z. We have a whole team that work the deal just like every other brokerage shop. No difference in the product that we offer. Number two, when someone asks, what is the uniqueness? When we answer, what is our uniqueness? Our uniqueness is how we price, period. So Premier Commercial Mortgage Brokers, how we price our uniqueness. What is that uniqueness? That uniqueness is that we're a membership-based service where somebody pays us $5,000 a year and for that $5,000 a year, they have, think about Costco, think about any other membership service. They have access to whatever we have, whatever relationships or data or information we have, you'll get that access. So $5,000 a year. And when you have a mortgage that you won't close, you will be able to get us at our cost. We will close your mortgage from A to Z, exactly the same with Premier Mortgage Brokers for $11,000. We offer another perk as membership. Let's say you don't want us to go all the way to the closing. You just want us to take the deal, shop it around, get the best rate, the best terms, negotiate the term sheet, and then you feel you want to do your own thing. No problem. We can do that also. Not the same amount of energy and effort. We're only going to charge you 4000 for that. Let's say you say, for this transaction, I want to do it myself. Different strokes, different folks. No problem. We'll tell you and make an introduction to the banks you want. So the membership allows you, think about it, imagine every person that's a member, it's like they're a partner in the company. And as a partner, whatever our costs are, I'll pass it along to you. The staff to run deals that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, that staff is available at our cost, what it takes for them to allocate towards your deal. 11,000 to closing, 4,000 to term sheet, or we'll make introductions which bank you want to go to. That's the overarching main product. The other product, which is really when we raised equity, what the future is, is we also have a technology. The technology will give you, think about Zillow. When you want to go buy a home, you want to know what's going on in the market, you go to Zillow. We are building the commercial real estate version of Zillow. So we're going to give you access, part of the same membership. You also get access to a technology that on it's going to have a map. We'll, with, we'll eventually have 50,000 properties to 100,000 properties that are for sale, updated live with the team internally, plus what recently sold, plus what recently was financed, plus what rates, what terms, whatever you could get on a transaction. So we're looking to replace that starting point. Somebody wakes up in the morning and they say, what should I do to start my day in real estate? Come to Gparency. And you'll start with what's for sale. You'll start with comps. You'll start with banking information. And then, oh, you want us to actually do the work? No problem. We'll take you all the way to the closing for 11000 So Just understand the, how big the market is. The market has over 1 million commercial real estate players. Our goal is $5,000 product. With God's help, the plan is to sell, to penetrate as high as, as 100% of that market. A million times 5,000 a year is 5 billion in revenue. That's the market cap you could go for. So when we're looking as a company to grow. People ask me, said, Ira, why did you take a risk? With God's help, you had a successful mortgage company. We brought it to the top 10, did $5 billion a year. In brokerage, over here, there's a market cap. You can do 5 billion a year in revenue. So this is what I made the risk for and I made the move. And that's what we hear today. The underlying why and the messaging of why to have G parenting and what I want to accomplish, what I want to do for the, for the industry is what's called equitable access. There are so many people that want to break into commercial real estate. Who's going to have their back? Who's going to help them? You pay the $5,000 to 
to come in to, to transparency, whatever we have is the same like everybody else. We're not looking to upsell. The goal is not that over time, a client should come in and we should convince them to pay the 11,000. The goal is, can I, we give you enough technology data over time that you're in control of what you want to do. And for whatever reason you want to use us, go use us, equitable access. Take a friend of yours who wants to buy real estate for the first time. What is the term? We'll show you directly all the available deals in the marketplace, how you could buy those deals, give you guidance, give you information. That's the business. The why is about equitable access. Equitable access is exactly what we have this today. What are we doing here? What is this thing we're calling GParency Experience that now we're launching GParency Experience? What is GParency Experience? So if you will, think about when you ever, if you ever went to the chocolate, the chocolate world in, in Hershey Park. You got to go on a ride and you'll see the whole Hershey, you know, the whole Hershey experience, what happens. We want to do that same equivalent. You want to break into commercial real estate? We will give you a hands-on version for 30 days. Anyone that wants to come on board can come on board and watch from start to finish. You want to just cover the cost to, you want to just cover the cost of whatever this technology is involved, that you have to sign up all the systems you want, but and it's open to anybody. But the main part what we, I'm building this experience is to really allow, as at the same time, those that are superstar salespeople. I want the best. We built an amazing product. We're building an amazing team. There's 75 people that work in the company today. Things are, thank God, amazing and growing. I want to bring, add to that team. So what I'm really looking for is to be able to nurture from this group every single month, 10 to 20 people that are salespeople, that have a desire to make a lot of money, change an industry, be part of equitable access, make that difference, get into the space. And that's really what I'm looking to do. And that's really the goal here. So the old, overarching goal is how can I help people? That's everybody. How can I help everybody that wants to break into real estate, learn real estate, even if you don't plan on staying in your parents' You plan on going to a competitor, no problem. Come in, I'll still teach you. You want to go into, you don't know where in real estate you want to go. You want to get the first experience. You want to come in and see what it's like to be part of a tech startup. What is it part to get interview and be part of a whole entire company? Real estate, underwriting, you want to learn everything. That's the 30 days. That's the GParency experience. But from that group, I'm looking for 10 to 20 people on a monthly basis that would want to actually go through up to 90 days and full, that have a drive to be salespeople. So there's a concept that we learned called GWC. Get it, want it, capable. I'm looking for 20 people that get it, want it, and capable of being an amazing salesperson. And if you want to be trained to be that amazing salesperson, you think you have what it takes, that's really what I'm looking for. You're not sure? Just take the 30 days. But if you are sure, I want to go ahead and mold that group and take it to the end of the line. Why is now the best time to enter commercial real estate? So I want to tell you from my experience over all the years, almost about approximately 25 years doing this. There's always a good time and a bad time. You can't time a market. But what's happening right now is with inflation, interest rates are here to stay and they're up. I can't tell you how high they're going to go, but I know I have to tell people, oh, get ready for the three, five, seven rule. 3% is the 10-year treasury. The 10-year treasury bill will be minimum 3%. That means people will borrow money at 5%. And that means people will have to have a cap rate to make money at a minimum of 7%. The quicker people start realizing this is the quicker they'll to adjust and make the right business decisions for the market going forward. But as such, transactional volume slowed down. So instead of 10,000 transactions happening new a month starting, there's going to be 5,000 transactions or something lower than the 10,000. Instead of people buying real estate as fast as they work, because they could cash out and flip the building two years later, that's going to go much slower. They're going to buy a deal, work it over a longer period of time, be able to go make money. During this time, because things slow, then the people that own real estate, the people that have businesses step back and say, okay, things are slow. I have time to think. I'm not in the same rut and I'm moving. Let me stop. And during that time, they take inventory. You know, a lot of people in the great years got better salaries and commissions to keep them on board and slows down, want to take a different look. So people that are entering the business now, you know when you're coming into the business, it could take you six months, 12 months, 18 months to break in. Therefore, you are expecting to earn much less money over these next six, 12, 18 months than where you want to be in five years from now. So when there's a company that decides to lay people off, unfortunately, at the same exact time, they would like to also, they lay off one or two people within a department and at least have, but they, they still need some extra labor, not at that cost. So they're not, they don't want to train some from scratch, but they're willing to entertain someone at some level of interest. That's what I'm trying to bridge that gap. You come into the business, I'll give you the foundation. The 30 days with video access to old courses that were given over the years and be able to go give that access that when you come to that company, a company could go and hire you, even if you're not for sales. Someone that's here for sales and wants to break in, 
while it's slow anyway, busy chance it's not getting to the market. Most of the most successful brokers I trained in my life. And I had the merit to train brokers that today cumulatively close over a trillion dollars worth of transactions. Most of them that would reach all the way to the top came at a time similar to this, when everyone's scared, everyone's slowing down, and they knew nothing better. They walked into a world today, say the three, five percent, three, five, seven, I just told you. That three, five, seven they have, and they look forward saying to themselves, wow, I see a deal that makes sense. Let me stop buying it. Some people still live in the past. Ah, you know, you know that we traded for a year ago. You know what I would have made at this, this cap rate at this term at this time. You don't, they don't live in the past. So the new people breaking, it takes time anyway. So when the market is going to begin to start settling, you spend the next six months in a market that started new. No one has previous experience in this new world. And that's why I find the best time to come in. So what I'm looking for at this time are those people that want to really break into real estate. And you can either go ahead and do it. There's two types of people that I'm really looking for in the experience. I'm looking for one bucket of those that want to come on, on board as a salesperson. And I'll give you a salary, give you a commission, give you full training and take you down that path. The other path is, I don't want to do sales or I don't even know what I want to do. I want to just try it. And then you can try it at your own time. You could, everything will be recorded. The, the, if you take just the experience without actually you know, doing the job of sales, you can do it at your own leisure. No one's monitoring you. You could check in, you could check out, you could watch when you're ready, not when you're ready for a period of 30 days, be totally engrossed, be totally involved in the company and have access to direct management of the company as well during those, during those times. So I wrote my questions, I'm sorry, just going through them. Um, so I was asked, I was asked the question that is this for someone that also wants to switch careers or is it just for someone that's new that's starting out? So the answer is as follows. For the parents, the experience is open to anybody. But someone that's already a salesperson it has been in the business for a while and now they want to break into commercial real estate and switch careers, that part, it's not so much that it's not for you, but it's realistically speaking, it's going to be very tough because think about how we're starting. I'll talk about the pay structure soon. But you're really starting out at a lower pay level to, to break in. And at the lower pay level, how are you going to live? So when you're just coming out, uh, the, the compensation package we have in place is amazing if you're just starting. The, the pay going in, the opportunity, the commission. But if you're starting and you, you, you need to make a living today, it's not going to cover you today. If not, if you're switching careers, it's not going to work for you. So it's not so much I'm against it, but I'm going to have to understand how are you going to go ahead for the next six months to nine months while it's a risk if you're going to make it. Not everyone makes it. People get burnt out. It's not for them. They think it's for them. They want to get involved. And then what happens? So I have to really understand that. Someone new makes sense. You want to conquer the world. You don't need that much to live. I'm paying comparable to an entry-level pay that's out there with commissions and stock options. So I understand why you're coming in. I'm going to give you all the training with the whole company. So I know why you're coming in. It makes sense. But I have to understand. That has to make sense to me when, if you're switching careers, how mathematically that can make sense. So my advice is for that group, Try for the 30 days, get a taste of the waters for 30 days, and then go out and make that decision. <clears throat> so let's now talk about those that want to come in for, a sales, for, for the sales job, for the main thrust of what we're looking to hire. Right now, the first year parents experience, because of the overwhelming response, over 150 people applied for tonight. Instead of having 10 people taking on board, we're going up to 25. They're going to take a total of 25 people. There's also people that want commit do commission over, over, over salary. So we are offering for someone to come on board, we're offering two different, someone wants to come on board in sales, we're coming down two different paths. Path one is salary plus commission, a small commission. Track two is commission. It's the same work under the hood. It's the same process of what you have to do every single day. The same milestones that you have to go through in order to be successful but you could pick a choice as different strokes for different folks. I want to just tell you personally, everyone, everyone draws on their own life's experience and they make decisions. You're talking now, I'm talking, you're listening to somebody that took the risk of his career, thank God having a successful business, walking away, opening up a new business, starting from scratch, competing with the old business and bet it all on the house. So what I learned over all the years is that if you showed me a salesperson, what's on a scale of one to 10, this person is a 10, but this person wants a base salary. And then you show me this, another person who's an eight, and this person is willing to work on commission. The fight of the eight is more, that's where I find the differences. A seven fight commission versus a 10, that's already spread, I'd rather go for a 10. So uh, when we're going out to pick 25 people, up to 25 for this group, I'm not settling the number 25. We are picking 25, max 10 of them will be salary. But if in theory you find 25, eights, nines, and tens, it's all 25 that are going to commission. 
So when you're going to go at, after this call tonight, you're going to go get a, get, get a choice. The choice you're going to get is what you want to apply for. You have three options in total you're applying for. Option one, I want to move forward with salary. Option two, I want to move forward with commission only. Option three is I want to just go for the Japanese experience. That's the third of this. The, the process from here through is that in order to, to, to onboard, if you notice all the ads, if you followed any part of the company, you know our offices are based on Zoom USA. This is our corporate headquarters right here. Our webinar is our corporate headquarters. At Zoom USA, it's irrelevant where you are. You have to be a U.S. citizen in order to come work here. And the process, the interview process, is going to be through a virtual interview process. So it's going to be back and forth, the communication, where you can take the actual interview questions and you record the answers to the questions. And then at the end of the line, that's when there'll be a live interaction, not even live, be an interactive live Zoom call, I call like today live, but that's how the system is going to work. So while you're listening now to the process, I want to refresh one thing again to you. You have, if you are someone that's not a born salesperson, you don't have the drive to make big money in sales and you have a gift to gab, you don't think you're a great salesperson, then the only real option available to you is if is if is it is to come on to Japan's experience, get the full experience for those 30 days. If you're into sales, then you pick me a choice. Do you want to take the salary plus a small commission, or do you want to take the commission? Now, what is the process? Someone's gonna to want to take come on board, they can want to go and take the job. What's the process? The process is as follows. We're breaking up a 90-day period into five sessions. Session one is up to two weeks. Session two is up to the next two weeks, 15 days. That's a total of 30 days. Session three is another 15 days. Session four, another 15. And then session five brings you from day 60 through day 90. That's the 90 days. The way we're setting this up is you're coming on board as a 1099. I'm going to go through the process now of not counting the pay, but what has to happen session by session from a big picture. Obviously, if you're moving forward, I'll get to the nuances, but I want you to get a, the goal of this call is, and the Zoom is you get an appreciation for what you're getting yourself into, what you're signing up for. What you're going to be signing up for is during those first two weeks, the, during those first session one, you are going to just get the basic skills. You're going to be given leads, not the best leads we have, but 500 leads at random. You're going to have training to show you how to make calls, how to update the CRM, how to follow basic protocol. As long as you do the basic protocol that you're supposed to do during those during those during that session, then there'll be a test at the end. You move to session two. At session two, that means already you have the basics behind you. It's for you. I know from past experience when I did this for many years, many people surprisingly drop out during that first phase. They can make phone calls for a day or two. So to me, I never understood it. You're only committing to a whole thirty-day trial to get up to ninety days. Like you can't. Why did you pick a sales job? You can't get past the first two weeks. But that's just the way I found it to be. So at that point, session two, you get at this point, if you're here with a more mindset, you know what you're doing, you're good to stay. At this point, we're going to give you much higher quality leads. And the same idea, you'll have daily requirements you're going to have to do. And then by the end of that session two, that's when it really starts becoming serious. At that point, to move forward past the 30 days, you have to have one membership contract sold. You have to have one person signed and closed in total, one person. If you don't have one person, then... If you have three leads, three hot leads that are about to sign, and according to your manager, your manager believes in you and believes that those three are real, then you have a potential to move to the next session. So the, the, the free ticket automatically is close one sale. I want to say something that's very important here. The difference when someone takes a job, a desk job versus a sales job. A desk job is all about doing what you're supposed to do. A sales job is not is about the results. So if in your mind you say, how can I know if I'm going to make a sale? Then that means I'm not a salesperson. A salesperson comes with an attitude that says, I'm coming in here and I know by the end of the 30 days, I will hit the target. That's a salesperson mentality. We, from experience, no matter what the intentions are, the people coming in, we believe that only 20% that start will go past day 30. That's just some history. Why that's like that? I have no idea. I can't figure it out. That's one of the, 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 the wonders of the world I'm trying to figure out. And could you predict which of the 20%? So our intention is that we're moving 20% forward at a minimum, unless you, you make a sale, then you for sure in. So at a group, we're going to choose of the groups so of starting with 25, we're going to choose five. If six people hit the levels, then six will go through. That's that 30-day period. Going into the next session, 
it'll be the similar to the sessions before, but at each time you get a different level of training, different level of interaction and guidance and getting added to more channels and, and conversations within the company to help you be successful. But ultimately you're coming in, you know that potentially it's an at will and potentially 30 days likelihood you're not passing. So the goal over here of this call is not to scare you off, it's a reality check. One of the things in GParency, we tell it to the lenders and we tell the same thing to you is about transparency. No one is ever gonna accuse me that I misled them. I didn't tell you things that I knew up front. Someone that thinks that when we're gonna put in five people that we think will make it, only one will actually have the drive slash be invited and or want to move forward into, the, into, into going into that third session, which brings you to day 31. And going at this point, it keeps ratcheting up the hurdles that you have to go hit. Those that go ahead and go get the, through the 90 days at a 45 day mark at a 90 day mark, at that point in good faith, you get there, my intention is to go hire you. And hiring you is offering you a salary. The end of the line carried as a salary of $50,000 base, plus health insurance, plus stock options, and a commission structure that based on the current group that's working here today, forget about what dreams I have, you should be able to earn in that first 12 months after you go, you, you graduate, you should be able to earn north of 100,000. And then from there, the sky's the limit. One thing that I'm doing as we're setting this up is there will not be a non-compete. So basically you could come in here and say, I'm starting out, but how do I know? It might wanna change my mind. I might wanna go to a competitor. No problem. You come here for a year, just go wherever you want. If you come in good faith, you try it for the 30 days, it doesn't work, do what you want. But if you're coming here, there's no non-compete. You could leave and go to a competitor whenever you want. I'm asking good faith during that first year, don't go somewhere else. But if you're coming in here, that mindset, you're starting out, that training, the full resources of the company will be build a state-of-the-art training, work hands in hands, have direct access. I will be on calls with you on a weekly basis as you're starting off, plus the whole management team, the sales team to work with you to help you go ahead and close. What is the pay during this training? What is the pay that I'm asked during those that are coming on as the sales? What's the pay? So the pay is broken down. You're starting off during this experience. It, it's paid as 1099. So you're self-employed. And during this, the way it's working is that you're going to have a daily quota of things you have to do. That daily quota is six hours a day worth of work. It's going to include 100 phone calls. It's going to include time for training, time for going to LinkedIn, time for learning, time for whatever you have to, we think that is appropriate and important for you to get done. Those are those six hours worth of work. We're paying $15, $15 an hour during this during this during these 90 days. This $15 an hour plus 10% commission. So if you sell a membership, $5,000, you get $500. You sell someone to close a deal for $11,000, get another $1,100. You'll get a salary plus that. On the technicality, because I don't want to sit and babysit you and monitor you down to the T, the accountability is on you which means that you're going to have a daily quarter you have to do. You do your daily quarter, you get paid for that day, not $90. You don't do your daily, daily quarter, you do part. We're not negotiating in the middle. It's like, it's a contract to work. Do what you're supposed to do each day, you get paid. The flexibility is that those six hours have to happen during your local nine to five zone. The minimum is three days a week, max five days a week. So you have a lot of flexibility here during this time. But remember, you're ultimately judged by success. So that's option number one. Option number one is get this structure with this pay. Option number two, same structure, help the same accountability, same daily. You don't do three days a week. I'm not interested in you working here. Same accountability you have to do. The difference is it's commission only. And the commission only works out to 40%. It's not the normal commission structure pay always. It's during this time. You want to come in and say, hey, Ira, G Parenty, I'm willing to take a risk. I don't want any base pay. I just want 40% on the commissions during this time. You'll have the same requirements to go from session one to session two, so on and so forth. The same requirements is one extra time that instead of being the line is drawn in the sand by day 45 before you move forward and there's no room just for someone's opinion, it's based on the actual production. That's where you could stretch it up to that point. You'll be able to stretch it up to 60 days potentially, but the commission is 40% across the board. So what is the math? So here's the math at the high level. In order to ultimately graduate, so I've been doing everything you're supposed to do when you go through another interview process, you have to have six total contracts signed. It could be a membership, it could be for a deal, a total of six by the end of the three months. And everything I'm telling you will be in a contract. So those six, if you want to compare apples to apples, if you work, do what you're supposed to do every day for those three months, and you sell six contracts, you will earn 97.50 during these three months. If you took the commission only during six, you earn about 20% more to 12,000. So obviously if you don't plan on working every single day, or you, in, as it is, you want to only work four days a week. I know many people ask the question, 
I'm only working four days. Obviously, the, the gap is wider. If you do better than you think you're that superstar and you can sell eight, then the difference gets much stronger. You're talking about you're talking about getting, we're assuming each contract on average is five thousand dollars. Forty percent times forty thousand is sixteen thousand. First, the salary plus ten percent commission, and the full salary works out to ten thousand seven fifty. So everything I'm telling you here will be put into writing. But this is opening up your eyes and you're making a decision of where you want to go and what you want, or how you want to move forward to. The piece of the puzzle, let me ask the question: Can you can I switch if I want to choose salary? or I want to choose commission? The answer is no. You can't, once you take an interview and you're interviewed and you're not accepted for that category, you can't then switch later and say, I'll go commission only, it doesn't work that way. So if you upfront, if you're gonna get a choice to take salary and at the end of the day, it works out there's only seven salary slots left, we're taking the best seven. If you would be number eight and had you chosen commission, we've got a job, there's no switching over. So if you're getting off this call and you're making a decision, you have to make a decision for these 90 days is the only time you get a choice like this. Once you get hired, there's no option to take commission only. It's during this time. You want to take the risk during this time. The criteria is the same, but you want to take the risk of, of pay. It's just a money play for these 90 days. Any contracts you sign in 90 days, you either get paid salary plus 10% or zero salary and get commission only from that point. I want to repeat again, what is the expectation that we think from those that start, those will be hired? We believe a total of 20% will make it to the finish line. We'll be able to move forward. But from that 20, only half would probably even want to stay in sales by the time they're done. That's what we found in the past. They want a different type of sale. They didn't realize this sale. They didn't realize that. But that's the mindset, what we found. So I just want to like manage your expectations when you're going into this. If you're looking at this as, hey, I'm a great salesperson. I don't know if I'll do this, but I have nothing to lose. You're willing to pay me for 30 days and make commission. Those people have the best shot of being successful. And then if they luck out, they stay in the business from there. Many people in my career, that's how they started. While at first job, nothing to lose, tried it, and they lucked out. When they're finishing up the last year of college or yeshiva, same exact situation. Just going through the questions I would ask, that we put together. Um, what would I advise my brother or sister? Should they take the commission role or should they take the salary role? The answer is as follows. I'll answer it with a question. First question I'll ask is, do you have the luxury of taking the risk for these three months? If the answer is you do not have the luxury, do not take the risk. Don't try to prove any points. You don't have the luxury. Take the salary and that's it. To me, when I'm talking to you on the call, I'm not gonna be, it's not going to make a difference to me when I'm training you what option you took. So if once you come on board, that's number one. Number two, it's just a matter of risk reward. Like someone asked a great question. If you knew, if you worked on a deal, you get paid you, you pay 10 grand, take 10 grand now, or if you're successful in that deal, you make 100,000, what would you do? There's no right or wrong answer. It's what you got. Some people say, I'd rather go ahead and not make the 10, but no, I have a shot at 100. Other people, no way, 10 is the guarantee, go for the guarantee. So there's no right or wrong. It's about you and be honest with yourself, not what your friend will do, do what you yourself will do. One second, I'm just done. Do I need commercial real estate experience? The answer is no. The assumption is that you have zero real estate experience. You're going to be trained assuming you barely know what the word commercial real estate means. That's how you're going to be trained, whether you're doing it just for the experience or whether you're asking for a salary and everything in the middle. That's the assumption going in. You do not need any experience, period. Again, we're actually taking people that are just finishing up school, just finishing up yeshiva, just looking for that first job. Zero experience required. Do I need experience with sales? Again, the answer is you do not need experience. What you need is GWC. You gotta get it, you gotta get what you're getting yourself into. You have to want to be a salesperson. That means you know you're getting rejection. You know that you're only gonna advance if you hit your targets, irrelevant how hard you try you're going to know that 80% will not make it. That's what you're coming up against. And then you have to feel you're capable that if you were trained, you could pull it all together. Is this, the, is this the only experience that we're doing? The answer is no. We plan on doing an experience approximately, start a new experience approximately once a month. Right now, this experience is starting next week. The next one is starting September 7th. So when you get an email, you could choose if you want to, pursue this one 
through the one September 7th. We have another one starting September 28th. I think that's the date, September 28th or September 26th, right? Between the holiday of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. We're starting one then. You could pick the choice of when you want to start when you get the email. My recommendation is if you're on this call now, that you should pick either today or September 7th. That's my personal advice. Number one. Number two is just realize that the disclaimer. If you're choosing this one, you know you're coming in as part of the beta. We don't have every last detail on your depth. We're moving very fast, putting everything together. So if you're the type that wants exactly in front of you, all of everything before the day you start, exactly to the last T, then you better wait until September 7th. If you're the type that say, hey, I want to get on early, we're just building out the sales force, we're part of the initial growth group, then that's great. We have salespeople working here. They are successful. They're selling the sales group that we have selling. We call the salespeople concierges, GP, general partner for the clients, real estate owner concierges. They're selling between six a month, six contracts a month. And the top one that's selling is selling 12 to 13 last month, this month and last month. Those are the numbers that they're selling. I'll repeat it again because I see this question was brought up again. Is there an edge for someone that's going to choose commission? The answer is yes. There are two edges you're going to have. One is that when the interviews come through, they're going to approve those that are, like I said, rated an eight to a 10 that chose commission, that bundled first. Because someone that's willing to take the risk, I can relate to that group when it comes to salespeople a lot better. When it comes to a, sale, a salary job, I can't relate to people who ask for commission instead and want to take profit share. Came for a salary job, take a salary. But if you're coming in for commission, that's number one. Number two is that from session three, if you are salary, it's black and white what you need to do. There's no room for an opinion to move forward past session three, which is 45 days in. However, we'll give you one extra session where if the whole team believes in you on session three, we think it's a little tough of you to get, you'll take a little longer to hit your next target. You have an extra two weeks approximately of wiggle room there. That should not be the reason to go for commission. You should go for commission if that's your drive your personality. So I want to talk about the G-Parency experience itself. Those that are coming on board and saying is, I just want to get this experience. What can you expect to accomplish in those first 30 days? During those first 30 days, you all have access to a full library of all underwritings and, and, and any videos, any trainings that were done, you'll have full access. During these 30 days, anything that any of you are invited to join, you will be invited to participate as well, live or watch a recording of it, get it afterward. You'll be, we use Slack as a communication tool. Um, that community, I just actually posted today on LinkedIn about using Slack, how the company uses Slack. So you're going to read about it. Slack is a communication tool. You'll have access to um, private message people working in the company, and you'll be on a couple of channels to be able to, you'll be on, on the general channel with everyone else. So you can ask questions and see what's going on. Throughout this time also, we're going to be setting up the chief revenue officer. We're doing interviews of all the heads of departments. So you get a flavor for the tech company, people that came here, the background, why they do what they do, what they do for the company, how, how a company, different parts come together, be able to watch an interview and then be able to ask questions afterward and have access. By the time these 30 days are over, you will be able to have a full idea. Hey, is real estate for me or is it not for me? Which part of real estate do I like? And then from here, no, we should do a deep dive afterward to follow for your career. But that G-Parency experience, the cost to come on is a cost, not that we're charging a cost for us as a fee, it's covering the technology licensing cost. So if you're gonna have access to the video library, the technology that's hosted charges a, a licensing fee. Slack charges a licensing fee. Email access, whatever access you're gonna need, it works out to approximately $75. That's that monthly fee that someone's interested in taking the experience to go through. For the job itself, not only don't you have to pay anything, we're going to pay you salary plus commission and provide all the resources and tools that you need. I'm going to move now at this point to answer the questions that have been asked. So those have questions. If you want to start asking, I'll repeat the questions out and I'll answer for that. So, um, so somebody wrote essentially just feeding the lending business by taking over the broker aspect with a technology spin. So the answer is not fully. Right now, the technology we're using as GParency is behind the scenes, is what the staff uses behind the scenes. Over the next 12 months to 18 months, the technology will be client-facing to a point where a, a client, if they want to go ahead and pay us to be a broker to closing, 11,000 will close. 
And if they want to do it themselves totally, the technology should be able to allow them to do it. <coughs> A to D to be like a fintech company. So Canadians cannot apply for this program. That for the experience, yes, there's no pay. For it could be for the first 90 days potentially. I'm gonna ask um, if you could reply in the email. When you get the email, ask the question and I'll get that answer for you. Um, so the someone is I'm leaving for back to school yeshiva in three weeks. We'll be doing this again next year. My hope is that if everything works well, there should be an ongoing thing that we start once a month where we're going to have a group of that we're going to pay 10 to 20 people where we're going to pay and let it open as as the, as like I said, the Chopa factory, the, the, the ride. We have that full experience going through from there. Is this a position to sell plans for G Parency or salespeople be selling actual commercial buildings? G Parency is a commercial mortgage broker. We don't sell properties, we do mortgages. So when someone, when you're going to be working here, you're going to be calling up real estate owners, GPs. That's really the name. G Parency is really GP for another word for general partner that's a real estate owner and transparency. So in that case, you're going to come on board to sell to a client memberships. And what do they get for the membership? The main perks they get is that you could at cost would close the deal for 11,000 and access that with our technology, our digital, digital, digital marketplace to do a lot of other things. What skills other than sales skills are needed to be successful in this career? That's really the sales skill. It's just like a, there's a certain drive. There's a certain, I'm not taking no for an answer, a certain thirst for a student of business. That's what I find to be the skill to be successful it, as a broker, as a great salesperson. <clears throat> so great question. What is the $5,000 comparable to? How much does it cost someplace else? So if you really want to first of all compare apples to apples, look at it that it's $11,000. You remember, it cost $11,000 to close. The industry charges 1%. So we just closed the deal now for $39 million. The broker, if they would have went to a different brokerage house, would have closed the deal for $390,000 for that transaction. Here we're $11,000. The deal's $3 million, $30,000, we're $11,000. That's, that's the difference. It's, it's at a whole different league. It's not in the same department. That's why we were met in the beginning with such resistance. Not possible. How could you do it? And I said in the same Iris Lotto, it's a random company that did $5 billion a year, and I'm personally going to help you close your transaction. <clears throat> Is there a specific time we have to do this? And how many hours is it? If you are taking the salary, the specific time is a complete six hours with no wiggle room a day. And it's three to five days a week during business hours. It doesn't have to be nine to three. It could be during nine to five. You have to complete six hours worth of work. Great question. Could you sell a parency contract to someone who does his mortgage with a different brokerage house? What's amazing is, is that of late, we had a bunch of clients that started this way. They say, hey, I use my broker, but you know something, for this price, let me see what you can do for me. I'll just pay the membership and let me just, let me just shop the deal for me at $4,000. They started with us. They took our term sheet in the first deal. Then they went to the other broker, used it as leverage to get a better deal. But by the second or third deal, right, they came back to us and said, hey, there's no reason to even continue it. So yes, did they make a great return on the investment? Paid us 9000 for the first deal. And, and use it as leverage to, to get a better rate and a better fee that they discounted fee to the broker. Yes, but as time went on, they came right back in. So what would someone hold back from using GParency? So now, great question. What would someone hold back from using GParency? It's up to God. Did now you understand the reason why I left the last company I opened up here? It's the first time in my life I could hire everyone here and tell you, I don't know a single reason why someone that has a multi-million dollar deal will not use us. Logically, there's no reason. Unlike the rest of my career, I used to train people and you speak to anyone who ever worked for me, I used to tell them it's a numbers game. A small percent of you will ever make it. No reason why a client should use you. It's a numbers game. But, you know, hey, you never know. Now, there's no reason. In my mind, it's just a matter of how long would it take. That's why we have the investor group who came in oversubscribed. That's why we can do another raise, God willing, soon. And we're getting ready inbound talks from a lot of people who want to put up money. It's because we have a market. There's a million people to sell to. And we don't see any reason why they, we're not going to sell to them. Also, unlike, um, unlike I, I look at it, unlike Uber and Uber and Lyft, where on Uber and Lyft, you have to make a decision. You either go into Uber or you go into Lyft. Over here, you could use both. Use us and still go somewhere else. Use us just for your purchases, maybe. Use us for other perks we're giving and just pay the membership. On the other end, I look at similar, take, take Netflix and Hulu. How many people have subscriptions to both? 
That's the same idea over here. So there's a million people we could sell to and have an open market for us. Okay. Um, I am waiting for my real estate salesperson license. However, I just signed it with a brokerage. What options do you have for me? I am not going into the real estate brokerage. So if you want to sell, buying and selling a real estate, I'm licensed. I could, you could hold your license here. But if you're looking to buy and sell real estate, I don't want to do that because one of the things we're doing at Geparency is we're building out this database of properties that are for sale, off-market, non-market. And I'm not looking to compete with the broker. I'm telling a client, Mr. Client, look at that map. You want to buy real estate? Let me tell you which brokers are selling and I'll direct you there. So this is a decision that you have to make on that point. The idea of the security salary is very enticing. Yes, I agree. Like, um, but you also realize at the end of the day that the mindset of your in sales is that you're only going to have your job, your salary while you're hitting targets. It's not like, oh, I do my job. Everything is great. Do I need to be in a certain market? No. Zoom USA, anywhere in the United States. You could be anywhere in the world if you're a U.S. citizen. Okay, what type of leads do you give us in the first 30 days? Great question. We have a database of almost every property owner in the United States. That database, and it's the same, it's a finite number of owners. It's not millions and millions and millions of owners. So we'll give you a bucket of someone who could have spoken to someone six months ago, a year ago, four months ago, said, not interested now, call me back. It's real estate owners, and you're going to make the pitch. Go in from your parents, so you can have a shot, and you're going to make the pitch of what you're doing. During That's only for the first two weeks. If you move to session two, which from session one to session two is really in your control, do what you're supposed to do, then you'll get leads that are much better. Those, these are going to be the leads that are people are signing up every day to have access to our, our database of properties for sale and they're looking to buy. We have a database of people that were actually helping them sell their properties. So you'll be able to get on the phone with a much higher percent, we think, of conversion rate. We'll be able to say, hey, you, you asked to see the listings. By the way, when you have a mortgage, how do you go ahead and do your mortgage? And you move from there. That's where the leads are going to come from. Give me a sample of a typical contract that can close in 30 days from start to finish to meet the target you have set. Great question. And I'm happy, yes, as I could clarify this. Unlike a mortgage where you engage, a, a borrower engages you and you close four, five, six months later, we get our contract start up front. A client pays us up front the 5000 So that's the really the only uniqueness in the how is the pricing and that you pay up front. So when a client has a deal right now and they're interested, they sign a contract now. And then we don't get anything commissioned at the closing. So it starts. So it's a matter of during this month, finding someone that's in the market looking for a deal in the next 30 days. And if they are in the next 30 days and they sign the contract now, that's that contract. And that's where you give the exception. If you don't have a contract signed in 30 days and you have it down, okay, you just missed it. But you have like three people, hot leads, by the end of 30 days that promise, oh, just missed it. But next month they're going to sign. That's enough to get you to the next session if you're part of the 20%. To go past day 45, it's session three. By that point, you have to have already the contract that you, that you didn't get in the first month, and already you have to get that second contract by that point. That's where it starts upping the, end, the ante from this point as you move forward. <clears throat> Do you expect people that are ready in the commercial real estate space to use your parents or your only newcomers? What's amazing about this business is that that answer, just so you know, which is surprising to me, is like, people ask me, do people go direct to a lender? So actually, first let me answer the question, I'll repeat it again. Do you expect people that are ready in the commercial real estate space to use your parents here or only newcomers? The answer is both, all, and everyone in between. Someone that's thinking about coming in would, is going to eventually want to pay us to have access to a human that could give them guidance of what's, what they should look at, to tell them where things are hot, what's going on, and when they're going to want a mortgage and have access to the technology, that's yes. If people in the business... If they've been in business for a while, they're for sure coming back and using us. Because when someone has a $50 million deal, the choice is $500,000, they'll roll the dice at the $4,000, the $11,000. It's a joke for them. Someone new, they get more nervous. Whatever doesn't close, I'm paying up front. But interestingly, as we're starting to close deals, we have $300 million under application or closed already. Well, open less than a year. In this time frame, we're seeing that new people are getting more comfortable and saying, hey, I could use your resources and I could continue and do this myself from there. Do you expect competitors to open up companies similar to transparency? After you explain the company, I'm thinking of competing myself. So the answer to the question is yes. Um, it's not going to, in my opinion, I don't think it's going to be the usual suspects. They're going to do it. Like you might listen, decide to come do it. And yes, I welcome it. What I learned is our biggest issue is breaking through to people. It's too good to be true. 
So to a certain extent, my business plan is in five years to get 10% market share. I'm leaving 90%. So you could go ahead and take from that other 90%. But if during this time, several companies started going with this pricing direction, then, and with a leader within this space, that's when we think we're really going to shine. So we make projections of growth. We have projections. And at one point, we think it's just going to stop popping. When is that pop going to happen? I don't know. God willing, it's going to happen sooner than later. Right now, we're on a great trajectory. I'm ahead of schedule of what all our goals were. <clears throat> do we offer? Do you offer com competitive interest rates? The answer is yes. And this is the most important thing to realize why I opened up transparency. Commercial real estate mortgages is a commodity. If you line me up with another three or four companies, no one has an edge. Not only don't they have an edge, if you knew the bank I'm going to, you will get the same rate yourself if you went to the lender with that one. Most people don't realize this, but that's the reality. You go, into, you go onto LinkedIn, you can talk to bankers direct. What makes one broker, forget about what in the past, talking about today, where the technology in the world is today, unique, is that we have a team of 10 people that all they do is date banks. So if you know bank number one, bank number one is the same rate for everybody. But I know bank number 33, they have a different rate. But if you went to 33, you get the same thing. That's why now you'll understand the product. We have certain people are realizing this, saying, hey, you know what I need you for? Membership, just tell me which bank to go to. Oh, you want me to shop it for you or close it for you? I can do that also. You're in charge. What do you want? Can I offer you services to my brokerage? What would be useful for them? I'm not understanding that. So, okay. Is this similar to CoStar for a mortgage? I wouldn't say that. Um, CoStar is a research, high-end data research um, um, company. We are playing in the world of what I would call the first mile. You wake up in the morning, how do you start? Here's, there, here's properties for sale. These are the brokers selling it. These are the rates. And then go from there, do things yourself. You want us to do it for you? At our course, we'll do it for you. We intend for a lot of people to start by us, see the, the opportunities, and then go to CoStar for much more due diligence under the hood, right? Call the second model to the end. Their, their research is amazing. And they have so much data. We're never going to compete with them. I've been trying. We're the first model, first study model. question here okay so i think that we answered all the questions that were asked okay oh so one second here okay a couple of questions here so what would someone what would someone's holdback be from using gparency number one the holdback was in the past too good to be true and the proof is you're charging up front there must be a catch must but as the sign to see us close deals and they realize there is no, um, there is nothing. It's just a matter of someone changing. As the market around us is slowing down, people are saying, hey, let me stop. Let me see what's going on. And then let me go ahead and potentially go ahead and move forward and try this thing out. And as they're trying it and people are hearing about it, they're looking at their friends and say, what were you thinking? Like the posts people are putting up on our behalf are saying like, I figure like I'll risk nine grand. That's the 5,000 let them shop it. Let's see what they come back with. I can't believe I didn't do this earlier. It's the greatest thing in the world. We do this for equity also. We don't just do debt. We do this when it's the raise equity with the exact same thing for equity. This is only on commercial real estate. Once you bring a customer, do you need, do you need to do anything else? The answer is no. You will bring in the business and then there's gonna be a team that's gonna place and run that transaction afterward. Your job is relationship management and the others, that's the rest of the team. Okay, can you please give a quick rundown of where we go from here? You will get an email from here after this call about what you'd like to do as your next step. A, do you want to go to the experience this one next week or do you want to wait till September 7th when it's more fully baked? Question two will be, do you want to come on for salary? Or do you want to come for commission? Or do you want to just come along for the experience? Those are your three choices. And then you'll pick the choices and then you'll go through a whole video interview process. But once you pick salary or commission, you can't switch later on. So if you find out that there's no more room in the salary slots, you can't I'll do commission now. Some of that had a mindset of salary, I'm not bringing them on later on. You have to pick up front which one you want, either one to me. We can have a total up to 25 people who are accepting this first round, but we're not paying more than 10 people in salary. But again, if we get 25 that want commission that are an eight to a 10, I'm gonna go up to 25. I'm looking to produce the best salespeople ever that's the direction I'm going on doing it. The total pure give back is, is to the experience. You can watch along while everyone else gets trained. 
<clears throat> Did you mention salary only position? Third option. Option one, I'll call it salary. That's a salary of $90 a day. It's $15 an hour times six hours. $90 a day plus 10% commission. That's the salary. Commission option is just 40% for everything you close during the first 90 days. And then if you're hired, it's a $50,000 base plus 10% commission plus bonuses come out, stock options, health coverage, and all the amazing perks of working here. So why do I upfront charge that would potentially turn away customers? There's many reasons for that. It's not really, I'm, up, up, I'm not really that I'm up. It's not really so much about the upfront charge. So here's up the root. My main business is the, is the membership, subscription. Pay me $5,000 and the next year you get what you want. If you want me to do a deal, the reason why we're charging upfront is because if, if the mathematics, basically, you're basically hiring a laborer. How's that work? It's not like it's a broker payment, it's a huge commission. I'm basically trading in the huge commission. Say, if you pay me to go ahead, my staff, I have an underwriter that earns six figures a year. The amount of time it's going to take will cover $11,000. Pay their salary. I'm not fighting with you. You want the labor. It's not about success fee. A mortgage broker is about success fee. Pay me nothing up front and a huge fee when you close. Different personalities. So please explain coming along for the experience. What we're really calling this is the G-Parency experience. And for the G-Parency experience, you will be able to simulate working in the company as a broker, as any staff member, and have access to all the trainings that those departments take and get and be part of the same group that's actually selling. So if you join on day one for the experience, at the same time, there are 20 salespeople starting, you'll be in the same training as that 20, as a fly on the wall. You won't have any obligation. You'll be able to learn from there. You'll be able to ask questions. You'll be involved. You'll get a full-blown experience and access to so many things during these 30 days. That's coming along for the experience. Those that want to become like a concierge, a salesperson, we call it concierge. So you can come for the experience concierge. You want to come up a concierge. How do you want to get, how do you want to come and be a concierge? Pay or commission, salary or commission. Those are those two choices. Or we'll just come just for the experience, that's it. Which clients are our target? Buyers and sellers of commercial real estate? Half of that. Your target audience are buyers. People that are looking to buy or ref and that means they need a mortgage on the bank. You'll give them access to buildings they could buy to find it. And when they find it, they should use you for their mortgage to buy it. And when they want existing properties to repo, we're not involved in the selling of real estate. They're real estate brokers. That's what they call listing brokers, sell real estate. And we're helping listing brokers by posting all the listings on our site for our clients. So bring a value add to our clients. Say, hey, come on board. We'll show you what's for sale. When you find it, a deal you want, we'll give you guidance, we'll give you intel. And then we need the financing. We'll tell you where to go or we'll close it for you for $11,000. Um, you charge only 11 K for a year. No, we charge $5,000 membership for a year. It gives you access to the technology, all the resources we have. And when you have a mortgage, we'll tell you which bank to go to. You want to have on a specific deal, instead of paying 1%, you want to cover our cost and have someone close it. That's a deal by deal, 11,000. It's if you want it. My advice is go remember. Let me give you the information that comes with it. And, it. and as you want more information, only pay what you want until 11. But don't start by throwing down 11,000. I'm not looking to upsell. I want to give you the best guidance from there. How long would it take to know if we got accepted once we chose salary or commission? Great question. On the, we are going through the process and the interviews first at the commission people. And no matter which one it is, we'll in the next couple of days, we'll know the answer. But the commission will get a quicker response because that's the first focus. It's like less questions I have. And someone wants a salary, it's one of the questions really. I'm, I'm judging like, are you really just coming for the salary and really not gonna be good at it? Even if you're gonna be up for a month, I don't wanna get distracted. So the answer is we take interviews both at the same time, but probably the next, within, I would say within two days, you'll have a pretty good handle about where you're holding. I'm able to do the training remotely. Great question. Yes, yes, yes. We are a remote company. We are Zoom USA. That's where we're located. So it looks like right now I have no more questions. If there is somebody that has a, another question, they could feel free to type the question. Um, okay, one second. I know you might have mentioned it already, but does the commission only option 
also come with health insurance? Great question. So during these 90 days, during the experience, you are paid as a 1099 self-employed. So there's no insurance at all, zero. When you, if you are offered the position permanently, there's no commission only option. It's a salary plus health, plus benefits and stock options and everything great at that time. So this, these 90 days, no one is getting health because you're really, you're not even W2, you don't officially work for the company, you're 1099. You're expected to work six hours a day. Will this recording be available afterwards? Yes, it will. No problem. When you say come along for the ride, what am I going to do? Sit back, log in, watch videos that you'll see what's what options you have, what videos you can watch, what trainings, what sessions you can come to. It's your choice to come along, participate, or just ignore it. Can you quickly summarize what the company does and sells? We are commercial mortgage brokers. Our uniqueness is how we price. We charge a membership of 5000 and then you get the main perk is we'll close your deal for 11000 We have other perks along the way. We're basically a regular mortgage broker, commercial mortgage broker, top tier, premier commercial mortgage broker. There's no one in the industry that's better. Everyone at the top tier is in the same league. Our uniqueness is how we price. Okay. So Nathan raises hands. You could actually talk, Nathan, if you want to talk. Yes. So I had an actual, I had a question. Um, when it comes to, when it comes to commercial, the difference between a mortgage broker and a mortgage banker is the mortgage broker just hooks you up with the, with the bank, right? Uh, drop the word mortgage banker. That's a fancy terminology. Think about banker. Banker is the one who lends money and a mortgage broker right. lends you to the bank. Right. So the broker, doesn't the broker usually get paid by the lender and not the borrower? Great question. That is by residential one to four family homes. It's priced gotcha. for the This is okay. commercial. Should have said that. We're a commercial mortgage broker. So right. I'll get the question again. Who pays G parency? Doesn't normally people think of a mortgage broker, the lender pays. That's for residential one to four family. On a commercial, we are paid by the borrower. The bank doesn't pay us. The borrower pays us. So imagine someone typically goes to a mortgage broker. That mortgage broker charges 1%, $20 million deal, $200,000 when they close. We're charging $11,000. I understand. Okay, and and um, this fee is usually due when, as opposed to you, when it's due up front. Right. So the membership is obviously up front at the buy-in. And when you have a deal, you have to pay the $11,000. What most people do is they pay the first $4,000 up front. Okay. And then after they pay that, they... Once they get a term sheet signed, then they could continue on for the other remaining seven, three to eleven. Very few pay the eleven up front. I'm not. I'm not looking for people to pay up front. My dream is give you enough intel, enough connections that you should feel comfortable to eventually one day just pay the membership and that's it. Again, my business model is get a million people to pay five thousand a year and feel that's all they needed. Equitable access. They got whatever they needed from sales and everything under the sun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, does the course teach you how to buy real estate, um, commercial real estate or residential real estate? So the answer is it's not going to teach you how to buy if that's what you're looking at. What it's going to do is going to show you how to underwrite a deal. So if that's what you meant with your question, then the answer is yes. You'll, you'll see underwriting courses. You'll be able to see how people underwrite loans and how they look at a deal and how they, how they analyze it. So that's what you mean. Yes, that's number one. Number two, anyone who uses GParents will have access to what's for sale. So you call a broker and say, hey, you sell this property and then use the research to be able to go ahead and learn to do it. Are your employees young or older too? Um, that is a, uh, um, a question. I don't know the exact answer to the question. I just know that uh, people work in the company from as uh, young as now, you know, I just think we have a couple in the 20s to I think we have a couple that are over 60. So, and everyone and everyone in between. So uh, all walks of life all over the United States. So I'm not sure if that answers your question but we do not discriminate. Um, how many hours a day are you expected to work? Um, actually, someone just wrote that we actually have someone working here that's 18, I'm sorry. So I hope that the person who's 18 and works here doesn't get insulted, but it's a compliment for them that I think that they're older than 18. How many hours a day are we expected to work? Um, I think I said that before. 
that uh, if you're taking the salary, take six hours is uh, what you expect to do every business day. Okay. Thank you all very much. Does the loans cover 100% of the deal? No, it's regular commercial real estate. The typical loan is 75% to 80%. Do I encourage the use of social media? I guess you haven't seen my LinkedIn. The answer is yes. We encourage it. We actually give a LinkedIn course. You have access to an amazing trainer on LinkedIn. So one of the what's one of the added perks of the of of coming on for Japan and experience? You will get access to there's a fellow Joe Applebaum who's a major marketing expert on social media on LinkedIn. He's training a lot of the staff. You'll be able to get classes specifically if you have access to this whole library as well during the Japan and experience. We are on TikTok, and I think we're on every social media platform now. <clears throat> so if someone pays the 11000 how many quotes do you provide? If you can't get one, do they get their money back? The most important thing over here is they're paying for the labor. So when they're coming here, and let's drop the 11000 years discussion, close 4000 Someone says, hey, I have a deal. Get me quotes, term sheets, shop it out for me. Get me the best deal out there. They're not paying eleven; they're paying four. That's the beauty also. They're paying for the time. So they're only coming on board. The typical conversation, they'll call up and speak to that, that broker that works here, we, who we call a funding coordinator, and they'll describe the deal. And the funding coordinator says, listen, this is what I think I could do. The borrower is taking the risk. We'll be very transparent what we think. If you want to take the risk, go for it. If you don't, it's a matter of time. It's selling time and not selling the result that way. I know from experience that in today's market, what we think and what we get is 99% of the time the same. If that's the case, that's when history has been shown unless something changed on the deal. And that, that's the direction that we uh, move forward with. So that's the whole rubber meets the road. So someone is ex inexperienced, they might not want to take the risk. Someone's experienced more and more than we're taking the risk. Even inexperienced people are coming on board because here's another perk. <clears throat> if you only have a $2 million deal, many shops won't focus on the deal because they work on the big deals. But now, since the funding quarter makes the same amount of money on each deal, they don't really care if it's a $2 million or $20 million. So we have people on smaller deals start to use us and feel, well, they're getting the same fight, even though it's a small deal. Did your parents do all the research on a property and looking to buy one? No, your parents does not do research for you. If you're looking to buy real estate as a client, you go ahead and do real estate and buy it. When they'll give you intel about what's going on in the neighborhood, if you know it. If someone in the shop knows that area, we can tell you who's more accessible, we'll point you in the right direction. If I decided not to go through with the program, but I know people who would benefit from the guidance, would I still be offered the commission for selling the service? That is the commission only option. Decide that you want to come commission only, and you get a commission when you close the sale. Okay. I'd like to thank all of you. An amazing turnout. 150 people applied. I know many from all, you know, also from different countries that didn't realize the time zone. In a very great setting here. It's all been recorded and everything will be sent out to you. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to helping you advance your career. Irrelevant if your final destination is your parenting or if it's just your first. Thank you so much.